Maxwell with the bounce best, runs onto the loose ball, goes towards the other side. The bounce famous side bottom. It got away from him, but inadvertently that helped. It kicks down towards the attacking 50. Doors brilliant. Don't get the cloak. Cloak the long ball. Goldsack. Well, he doesn't kick too many goals. Tyson Goldsack. Would have thought. Goldsack to get the first goal of the grand final. Not too many. Probably not even there. Goldsack kicks it. The goal's got in position for him. Goldsack and then Goddard. So good again. Schneider through the heart of the centre. Important ball. Shaw holds it up. And then Shaw, normally creative, asks a little bit of Lee Brown. Brown, quick enough to release. O'Brien, nearly the 15. Goldsack playing on the forward line at the moment. That's a good kick. Williams has got it just inside the 50. Johnson is on. Johnson's got it. Kilda got the same first quarter last week. Too slow. Let's get this one. Ben Johnson runs to the 50. It's beautiful off the boot. How sweet it is. They've got men back. Rebold in the middle. Calling for the football. Schneider will give it to Rebold and Will. Rebold runs in. Sure. It came up behind him like a librarian. He never heard it. No surprise, everybody else in the library is shouting. He's got the football. Got out a lot of football. Not a great kick and Graham did well. Well, unfortunately, and unluckily, I think, didn't get a pay. So I've got him banging. Thomas, not quite. Might get a second crack. McCaffrey kicks the goal. Then kick the first three. Wellingham digs it out over the football board that been taken high. Weather to Storm did brilliantly side bottom so good last week to have more than doors. Now Diving is breaking. Ball comes across to Flair. Let's get to Diving. Oh, good work by Cloak. Diving is on. Diving goes in. There's no room in the door. The match will play in there. Three kick Collingwood. No play on the ball. Cloak comes back. It's gone. Has to make a decision now. Does he go the long kick? Or he had one ten years short. He went the wrong way here. And the bouncing ball. Jolly's onto it. Still Jolly. Well, this is costly. McCaffrey kicks his second. What a snapshot of this game. Two goals in the turf of Collingwood. Both from the goal square. That's being played. Jolly decisively. Pendle breaks. Swings it down towards half forward. Side bottom. Let's it bounce. Runs onto it. Thomas is on, uses him as a decoy, comes back to the middle, and Jolly! That was a terrific moment, the big guy had to change direction. Went back in yeah, but right at the moment, McAvoy is just uh, getting into the fence, and Jolly plays that well. What an acquisition he's been. Melbourne to the Swans, to Collingwood. This one is working back, it's beautiful. Then it clears going with a dominating at the moment. I think it's 6 6. Tell you who's playing a great game. That's Dempster. Wilt. Wilt the high ball towards the wing. All Collingwood. Needed somebody on the ground. Well, too slow there was Del Santo. The umpires have put the whistle away on holding the footy. And then Tanya running hard. 60 metres out. Centering kick. Big fight came from Jolly. She's played a quarter Jolly. Only oh, sound out of the back pocket. It's outside the defensive 50. Shaw will fly. Get a fist on him. He had to do that. All Collingwood in front. Handle three. Doors from behind. Hit the back hard. Hayes looking to find a way through. Went to Dawson. Hacked out of mid air. Doors. Oh, that is Dawson. <laughs> now. now Fisher runs it up. Rebold is dropping back. Oh, Brown right. off it. Wins the battle again. Won the battle early there, made contact with yeah. the rebound early just to get him off guard and then as a result could dictate the play. And Fisher couldn't carry it any further, he had to kick it off a few steps. Could have really packed off the game. Hayes third man up, Willingham runs it and kicks the goal! Coming away, Ray goes towards the other side, racing to O'Brien and Pilk O'Brien.
Gallops up Brian, gallops away from Peak, and then delivers to full forward. Swan waiting, wearing on from the side. Swan's going to kick a goal. They're home, you would think. I know it's a long way to go, but they're killing them now. The Saints kick forward towards half forward there by side bottom. Opportunity for Dyson. Smothers the ball, runs on it, hooks. It's bending back. Oh, Kicked it in to It was wonderful by the number four. Here. Can he deliver? No. Oh, Thomas Breeze, like a goalkeeper. And then McCaffrey building it out of the back half. Dawson and Dawes. And the big D wins out. Back inside the pier. Not really. Side bottoms on. Yeah, along with Goddard, I guess. Playing a fair game, too, still side bottom, no doubt about that. Well, he's the only teenager out there. Murray Wiedemann, one of the three living captains, is the youngest ever Premiership player at 17 in 1953. And side bottom kicks another one. And Colin will get past 10 goals today. This is the sun pop in the back. Johnson oh. talks about the start of the match. Reva Montagna. O'Brien brings him down. And then Brown's little kick for their arms. They're going backwards. And the kick picked off by Tuvia against Schneider. Back in board to Johnson. Classic Colling with that. Security just got boxed in in that forward pocket and forced the turn over Tuvia back. O'Brien was running outside. He goes to the pocket and Dawes has got it. It's good. Tuvia's a better player, but this guy's been a very important part of all of it. Oh, how sweet it is. He's got a presence, hasn't he, Dawes? He's a big guy. Well, he takes, he takes the key defender, and he's very good in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Last week, they had a sick... And he is very much like his surname, isn't he? he he's... Oh, it's a call of Paul. <laughs> so, Paul Fallen. Towards the pocket. Interesting. Two Saints spell over. Dawes hand passes to the goal square. Thomas turns around. And pops it through on the bounce. There's Clayton down the Taking his game to another level, just as Colin would have done. He was two in the same draft, but Kendlebury was five. Oh, good draft. Mm. <laughs> good kick. The goal of Crouch now cheering as a 50 metre ball. It'll take it to him being Harry O'Brien's range as well. The goal of Crouch just cheering every mark now. He has had a good final series, so he, all Australian this year, but he had a. A modest grand final last week, but he's yeah, no, no, rectified that today. Neil did a good job on him last week, but uh, yes, he's reversed that particular duel today. He's kept Neil completely out of it. Started today really well and had that real energy. Went for a run, took an intercept ball across half forward for the pies. He's had a great day. He can kick a long running goal, we know that. He's 50 out. It's a beautiful kick. He's jumped out of the thinking chair right now. He feels like Einstein. <laughs> Sweet feeling this, isn't it? Not for him. Yeah, that's the other side of the coin. Well, last week we said at the end of the game there was this bit of nothing feeling because no one had won, no one had lost. Nothing tough about it for Colin with dinner. Well, they want the siren. They want to celebrate. Take it on the outer side, sure. Who am I to tell you, Tom? Yeah, sure, 55 metres out short, one Wellingham. Wellingham is through, runs into an open goal and kicks it. Nothing's up about that. It's for his teammate, feeds it forward, Del Santo inside the 50. And there he is again, the skipper. Oh, sweep this is. It's going with three-quarter time, way, way down. Thomas has got the football inside the centre square. Fun as a pass. Almost an involuntary mark there to Wellingham. Turns around, goes long. Side bottom. And runs around. And that is the cream. They're home well and truly. But they may not be home later tonight. I'm suggesting the early hours of tomorrow morning. <laughs>
thought Mick could have been a bit more expressive when he went down. What do you think? They're all legends now. Have a listen to that. What a peculiar position and a beautiful position Luke Paul has found himself in, having played for the Saints last year against Geelong. So Collingwood win by their greatest ever margin in a grand final. It doesn't get better than that.